Hi, this is Mrs. McPhee, and it is Monday, October 17th. And in pre-algebra, we are talking today about square roots, and we're going to use that as we start to explore the Pythagorean theorem. This was your homework tonight, and I did say there's a couple of these that I was going to look at with you as a video. Problems like this third section, you will see similar problems on your quiz next week. And I wanted to start by talking about some of these problems in this column here. These look difficult, but once we look at them, I think you're gonna be much more comfortable. I wanna look at a similar problem. So let's take a problem that we know, like the square root of nine times the square root of nine. Well, the square root of nine is three. And or the square root of nine is three. And three times three is nine. If you square a square root, since those are opposite operations, they actually cancel each other out. So if we have a problem similar, like the square root of 38 times the square root of 38, even if I don't know off the top of my head what the square root of 38 is, I'm taking a square root and I'm squaring it, which means the two operations go away, and I'm just left with 38. S is similar. Square root of 15 squared means the square root of 15 times the square root of 15. The square and the square root cancel each other out, and I'm just left with 15. So down at the bottom, I see 38, and I would put answer A. And here I see 15, and I would put letter S. And then some of you saw the fractions, and you were a little hesitant. But basically, we can take the two numerator and denominator and separate them. This is the same thing as the square root of 49 over the square root of 81. Well, the square root of 49 is 7, and the square root of 81 is 9. I'm left with 7 ninths, and I look down below, and up oh, here it is, letter D. And I did just want to caution you, when you have problems like in the second section, the second quadrant, you should not get the same answer for H and for W. H is saying take the square root of 100 and the square root of 64 and subtract them. That's answer two. But W is saying subtract them first and then take the square root. So I have the square root of 36 which is six. Not the same problem, so not the same answer. Make sure when you're working tonight then that you take your time, that you attend to precision, that you work and struggle and make those mistakes, and of course you use our wonderful answers here to answer the question, why did Argo check his animal cookies before eating any? And remember, it's not funny, funny joke, but it's math and it's a joke, so we'll take what we can get. You're doing a great job. Happy to have you back for a full week without interruption, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.